In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Welcome to St Wilfred's Christmas Carol Service. We hope that all our families have a wonderful, peaceful and holy holiday season and enjoy this special time of year, which started over 2,000 years ago with the birth of a baby in a stable who would become the saviour of all mankind. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart in mind to go even a turn to Bethlehem and see this thing lying which is come to pass and the babe lying in the manger. Therefore let us read in Mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purpose of God from the first days of our disobedience. A turn the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. But first let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all of his people for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in this holy place. And because of this, all things would rejoice his heart. Let us remember, in his name, the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hopes was in the word made flesh, and with whom, the Lord Jesus, we are forever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer upon the throne of heaven, and in the words of Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, our kingdoms come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, for we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Almighty God bless us with his everlasting grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life, and atone the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. St. Luke tells to the angel Gabriel, announced to Mary that she is to give birth to a son through the power of the Holy Spirit, and the child will be called Holy, the Son of God. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin bethroned to a man, Joseph, to the house of David, and the virgin name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are conceived and bared a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord, the Lord God will give him the throne to his ancestors, David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and reign will not end. Mary said to the angel, How could this come about since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow, and the Son will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in her six months, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary, let what you've said be done to me, and the angel left her. The word of the Lord, thanks be to
let us pray, Father, opening her heart to the power of your Holy Spirit. The Virgin Mary was covered with your shadow, and she conceived a child most holy, and he was called Son of God. Open our hearts this Christmas time to the presence of your Spirit working in us, that we may rejoice in your favour and bring again the Christ child into our world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St Luke tells how Joseph and Mary travelled to Bethlehem to register their names on a census of the whole world. And while they are there, Jesus is born and laid in a manger. Now at this time, Caesar Augustus issued a decree for a census of the whole world to be taken. This census, the first, took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to be registered. So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and travelled up to Judea, to the town of David called Bethlehem, since he was of David's house and line in order to be registered, together with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray, Father. Jesus, your son, was of David's royal house and line, yet there was no room for him at the inn, and he was laid in a manger with the ox and his company in our celebrations this Christmas. Let us not forget the poor and lonely, the homeless, and those fleeing poverty and persecution, and in thought and deed, share our, share our riches with them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Luke tells how the angel of the Lord appears to the shepherds tending their flocks in the fields, and the shepherds go to Bethlehem and find the baby lying in the manger. In the countryside, close by, there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took it in turns to watch their flocks during the night. 
The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said, Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in the town of Bethlehem, town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord, and here is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with the angel, there was a great throng of heavenly hosts, praising God and singing. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to men who enjoy his favour. Now, when the angels had gone from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and say this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they hurried away and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who had heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray, Father. You sent the angels to the shepherds as they watch our flocks by night, bringing them news of great joy, a saviour born to us who is Christ the Lord. May we shall not be afraid to share all whom we meet in the news of God of your salvation. Peace in God and favour for everyone who hears it and ponders it in their heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St Matthew tells how the wise men travel from the east, following the light of a star. They bring gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh for the infant king. 
After Jesus had been born at Bethlehem in Judea, during the reign of King Herod, some wise men came to Jerusalem from the east. Where is the infant king of the Jews, they asked. We saw his star as it rose, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was perturbed, and so was the whole of Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, and inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. At Bethlehem in Judea, they told him, for this is what the prophet wrote, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, you are by no means the, le the least among the leaders of Judea, for out of you will come a leader who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men to see him privately. He asked them the exact date on which the star had appeared, and sent them on to Bethlehem. Go and find out all about the child, he said, and when you have found him, let me know, so that I too may go and do him homage. Having listened to what the king had to say, they set out, and there in front of them was the star they had seen rising. It went forward and halted over the place where the child was. The sight of the star filled them with delight, and going into the house they saw the child with his mother Mary, and falling to their knees they did him homage. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. But they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, and return to their own country by a different way. The word of Lord, Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father, the wise men saw the stars as it rose and it filled them with delight, and they came to do the Christ child homage, offering gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh from their treasures. May we follow your signs and wonders in our everyday world as they reveal the presence of Christ to us and those around us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God's gift to the world of himself in the person of Christ, his Son, offers to all people the vision of a world of peace and justice for all. Let us pray that our Christmas celebration may hasten the arrival of the Kingdom of God in our midst. Each prayer concludes, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, Mary was willing to be the mother of Jesus. We pray for our families and for all entrusted with the care of the children that they may know love and care. Jesus was born in a stable, a temporary home, 
We pray for refugees and all who are homeless today, that they may find a place where they can rest. The shepherds came to worship Jesus. We pray for all who do not know you and for those who are unhappy or unwell, that they may come close and be glad in your presence. The angel filled the sky with praise because of Jesus. May our lives be lit up with joy at the good news of the gift of Jesus to all the world today and always. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. When he came to us as a man, the Son of God scattered the darkness of this world and filled this holy night with his glory. May the God of infinite goodness scatter the darkness of sin and brighten our hearts with holiness. Amen. God sent his angels to shepherds to herald the great joy of our Saviour's birth. May he fill us with joy and make us heralds of his gospel. Amen. When the word became flesh, earth was joined to heaven. May he give you his peace and goodwill and fellowship with all the heavenly host. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace of Christ, announcing the good news of Jesus' birth. Thanks be to God. Thank you.